So you want to get an internship or a new grad job, but the competition just overwhelms you. And for good reason, the competition's just insane. But you need an edge, right? Well, I'm here to give you that edge. But don't you dare turn this off on me right now. So I've been getting quite a few of the same questions on LinkedIn, which by the way, thank you for engaging. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry I can't get to every single one of you. So I thought I'd record this video um, so that it can reach more people. Questions like, what do companies look for in interns or new grads with no prior experience? What can I do to make myself stand out from the crowd? Why do companies list all these ridiculous requirements on entry level jobs? Okay, so a job posting lists all these impossible requirements, right? You need experience to get a job, but you need a job to get that experience. It boggles the mind. It defies logic. I completely understand. Well, I'm here to tell you, pay no attention to that. Pay little attention to that. Don't pay all of your attention to that. Does that make sense? So the reason for this ridiculous list is companies are normally looking for ideal candidates, which don't exist, by the way, unless you have someone with 10 years of experience looking for an entry level job which isn't the case. Or these requirements are poorly communicated by the manager. Sometimes the manager doesn't know exactly what they're looking for, or they're written up by an HR person who doesn't know what the manager wants. So there you go, apply anyway. You've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. All right, so you've gotten an interview. Congratulations, by the way. Here's a few things that companies are really looking for, new grads and interns. And no, I'm not gonna talk about your generic ones, like putting job description keywords in your resume. Oh, your resume should be one page. That's a given, man. I'll actually be talking about things that people don't pay attention to that much, but that count heavily towards the job search, job interview process. Okay, so everyone says research the company as much as you can and then demonstrate that knowledge to them, right? Well, I say it helps more if you research the products that they're working on. It's even more beneficial if you know what product or service that particular site or branch is working on. It just helps you stand out more. Think about it, if you're an interviewer, would you be more impressed with someone who's spewing facts about the company? Evil Corp was founded in 1969. You have three divisions in 10 countries. And Ugh, it sounds like word vomit. They've heard this spiel loads of times. Okay, so would you be more impressed with someone who's spewing facts about the company? If you're gonna spew, spew into this. Or on the flip side, would you be more impressed with someone who knows what your company or particular branch is working on? For example, I work on environmental control systems on Boeing and Airbus aircraft. And if I were interviewing a candidate and they mentioned that they find environmental control systems interesting or that they'd love to work on the Boeing 777X, that's bonus points. Love at first sight, game over. Okay, so the second thing you can focus on is willingness to learn and just overall enthusiasm. Now, I know it sounds vague, but let me explain. So they know they can't expect the world from students, right? Interns, new grads, they usually don't have refinement in the way of skills compared to their uh, more experienced colleagues, right? So how do you convince them to hire you? What they really demand from you is energy, excitement, positivity, and just overall enthusiasm. See your more experienced colleagues they're jaded. They've been beaten to a pulp by deadlines, rework, all day meetings, design reviews, dodging layoffs, increasing responsibilities after those layoffs without an increase in pay. So what they really just demand from you is just an awesome attitude. You need to bring excitement to the table. You need to show them that you'll be the happiest person in the building when you start this job. Okay, so the second point kind of ties into the third point. And the third point is companies want to see what you've been doing besides school and binging the office. Needless to say, but post your projects, it doesn't matter if they're university or personal, post them on your personal LinkedIn page, on GitHub, whatever comes to mind. So if you've applied to a robotics or a biotech company and you're designing your own PCB, it doesn't matter if it works or not, that signals to them, <laughs> signals, dad joke, that signals to them that you're spending your own time honing your skills and working on something you're passionate about and that you actually have fun working there. You learn something and then hopefully come back after graduation or if you're a new grad that you bring a fresh perspective to the table. Bonus points if you bring your own portfolio or your projects to the interview. That really helps. So there you have it. I hope you found this little insight helpful and that it'll help you getting that coveted job or internship pending a signed contract, granting me access to 50% of your income, of course. So please share this video with your friends. Maybe it'll end up helping them or way more people. 
well, since you need that edge, maybe don't share it with your friends. But then you'll be a terrible friend. Your call.